Hello, and welcome to Queen's Crafts by Bridget. I'm Bridget. Thank you for joining me today. Whether you're new here or you've been around since the very beginning, I truly appreciate you coming by and spending some time with me. If you're looking for me anywhere else on the internet, you can find me at my Facebook group page. You can reach me directly at my email address, which is simply Queen's Crafts by Bridget at yahoo.com. And I have a Discord available if you reach out either through my Facebook or my email. I also play the game of Township if you'd like to connect in the gaming world. For our last video and the live, we have uh, six names. We have Sharon uh, Shutcliffe, Mary's Fiber Creations, Karen JSP, Deborah Richardson, Sandra John, and Crafty333. Congratulations and thank you for being active participants on the channel. Now, before we get into what we're here for in this video, which I actually finished a couple of crochet projects. They're tiny. Don't get too excited. But it was with hand spun. Or not hand spun. Hand dyed. My bad. Hand dyed kitchen cotton. <laughs> if you weren't at my live on Monday, I... Uh, dyed some kitchen cotton. I gave two of those balls away on Monday Night's Live and I kept one and worked it up. But before I show you, let me tell you about my wonderful friend that I need you guys to go on over and say hello to. Again, we are doing one of our guaranteed entries into uh, the cauldron. If you go on over and say hello and connect with my newest friend, or one of my newest friends, Miss Jamie Marie, over at Jamie Marie Crafts, I will link her down below in the description box and link a specific video for you to go on over, say hello, give her a little comment. If you like her, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and of course the like because we've got to keep the YouTubes happy and let them know that hey we like these new people showing up and we want them or we want to see more of their content. So, like I said, I'm going to link Miss Jamie, and if you would please go on over and give her a comment, a like, and subscribe, and all that fun stuff, and let me know uh, that you have gone over and made friends with her, and I will pop your name into the cauldron for this month. Thank you very much in advance for doing that. Now... I did tell you about the crochet, so we will show you that before I show you the other fun little thing that I did. I, uh, when I was dyeing some yarn for a good friend of mine, who I can't say yet because she hasn't opened her package yet, so I don't want to ruin it for her. Um, when I was dyeing her yarn, there was a whole bunch of dye left in the pot, as I've never dyed cotton before, so I wasn't sure how much dye I was going to use, and I went a little overboard. I didn't want to just pour this dye down the drain. So, while I uh, was walking around the Wally Mart, getting myself some lemonade because I have quit coffee over three weeks now. <sighs> yes, and the house hasn't exploded yet. It's a miracle. But anyways, I was walking around in Walmart and I grabbed three balls of the peaches and cream uh kitchen cotton that we all love to hate or hate to love whichever way that goes I brought them home I took the wrapper off and I plunked them down in the pan didn't soak them didn't do anything special all I did is pop them in the pan the color just started drawing up through the cake it was quite impressive to watch and uh, I, I probably should have grabbed the camera so you guys could see but if I do it again I will definitely show you guys it's nothing really fancy anybody can do it for sure uh and then i let them sit there for a couple two three days and let them really soak in as much dye as they possibly could so i didn't really know how long it would take for the inside to get good and saturated and not just be a white blob well after those three days i rinsed the living heck out of them and i brought them into the craft room here i put them in a box i hooked up my swift i have two i have a wooden swift which is very very nice and then i've got one of the cheap chintzy ones well the cheap chintzy one i can flip so that the umbrella is going this way rather than this way and i was able to spin the balls onto the umbrella making them a hank so that they could dry and i didn't have to 
deal with any yarn barf. I managed to get through all three balls without causing any mess in my house and without causing any yarn barf. Hallelujah. <laughs> we all know that feeling uh, because nobody wants to deal with yarn barf and you definitely don't want to deal with it with wet icky yarn. Well, on a Monday Night's Live, I seen that our wonderful bod went live at 8 o'clock and we started at 8.30. So I knew that there wasn't going to be a whole lot of people at the live. And a matter of fact, we discussed that during the live. But we did get about 25 to 28 people in the room. Not too, too bad for a couple of girls just having fun. Well, because of... Uh, People showing up when they could have been over watching the amazing Crystal. I was very appreciative. My girlfriend Mel was very appreciative. And if you don't know Mel, she's Lothalia's little hook, Melanie. And you have to know her. She's wonderful. Uh, I will have her linked in the description box below as well. Well, uh, Miss Mel and I were talking and I decided to do a giveaway and at first I was only going to do one ball of the peaches and cream and that would give me uh, two to do whatever I wanted with. Well, I decided spur of the moment to draw two winners so at by the end of the night I only had one ball left as Mel and after the after we ended the live Mel and I were uh, chit chatting and whatnot and I made up this little hot pad. I did 22 stitches um, and then a front post back post because it makes it nice and double thick. These are great for when you're pulling a pan out of the oven either grabbing them or having it sit on the counter so that the counter does not get burnt. These are fabulous. I've never ever had uh, my countertop get burnt. I've never burnt my hand through them because they are so nice and thick. Matter of fact, I feel less heat with these, even with the slight holes, than I do using a traditional store-bought hot pad. And I also made this little one here. It can either be used as a rag, as it is just about that size, or a quick little hot pad as well. Sorry about uh, my young lady. She's in the next room and voicing her opinion. <coughs> Khaleesi, that'll be enough. <coughs> I guess she doesn't think so. All right. Well, <clears throat> I don't often uh, really buy much of anything anymore. Um, but... <clears throat> When I was working up uh, the bracelets that I'm making for the king and I for the wedding, uh, I realized it would be much easier if I could just set the beads out in the order that I'm going to use them instead of having to constantly find what box I'm picking out of. So I looked around, I figured there had to be something somewhere, and I found these on Etsy. Now, this side you can use when you're doing beading like I did uh, with the belt when I'm doing a loom beading project and this side here is offset so that works perfectly for when you're doing peyote stitch so that came with two boards um, from the Etsy seller and in that package they included a free gift as many Etsy sellers do this one was a little bigger than most. It was a beading project to make a bunny. Well, there was this uh, QR code on the back, but I was talking to Mel and uh, on my phone. So I couldn't scan the code. So I just looked at the picture. And by the time we ended our conversation, I had a bunny. <laughs> He is super duper cute. I think I'm going to hang him in my car because why not? Isn't that a cute little bunny? There's the comparison. That was a lot of fun. Um, I'm sure it'd be something that uh, Tia will be able to do with the kids next summer when they're up here. Because I'm sure my niece is going to absolutely love that. So, 
I showed you guys that I've already made up the gnome fabric. And I've already made up the dragon fabric. Well, now I've made up another one of the brand new fabrics that I went and got just a couple weeks ago. Let me show you. Now, I don't generally put the closings on my bags until they're ordered because... So somebody was asking me about this in one of my community posts because the hook and needle bag did not have a drawstring or snaps or anything like that. And the reason I do that is because there are options. With these bags here, I can put on Velcro rather than snaps. If the person does not have the dexterity to deal with snaps, I can put Velcro on Velcro is not my personal choice when dealing with yarn. However, I leave the choice open because I am not the one using the bag. When it goes home to somebody, their choices matter. So, this is why most of the time you will see I do not put the snaps on until the bag is ordered. If they don't say anything on one way or another, then I just go with the snaps, the drawstring, whatever. Uh, it, I normally do. If they do uh, voice a preference, then I make sure to, of course, go with their preference. Now, I have two of the cute little uh, 100 gram sock bags or cake bags that, of course, is this bag right here when it's closed all up cattywampus. Your, bag, your cake is secured inside. If you snap it straight across, then you have a nice hole to work from the top of your yarn. Oops! There went my earbuds. And then we have two of the takeout bags. Or the extra large sock bag. More commonly known as the takeout bag anymore. That, of course, is this bag here when it is full with the cake. The cake that is inside here is one of the uh, cotton cakes. And then we have three medium sets. And, of course, we have the little drawstring notion pouch to make it a set. Two of them are purple on purple and the third is purple with orange on the inside. Now for me the most exciting bag out of this print is this one right here. I have finally completely figured out how I want to do this so I will be now offering tote bags with a zipper top. Now these have uh, 24 inch handles from from here to here is 12. They're 24 inch handles so they fit real nice and well underneath your arm. So if you were toting a, a big project bag to, uh, I don't know, the grandkids' house for the weekend or vacation for the weekend, you can take everything you would need in your tote. Now, of course, this bag is lined. It's got a beautiful purple on the inside and a notions pouch. Now there is a $5 uh, extra. These these ones here with the zipper is uh, 75 and that includes the shipping inside the US. And I will work work with the shipping anywhere else. 
Okay, I think that is good for today. Please do remember to go over and say hello to my friend Jamie. Uh, I think you will like her. She, if, well, if you like me, um, she is quite a bit into uh, the witchy fun stuff. And she is an amazingly talented young lady. She made Christy Yarnbarth a really awesome birthday present and matter of fact that is the video in which I'm going to link where she shows you what she had made and I believe she's going to have a tutorial I believe it might it's either a tutorial or she's coming out with a tutorial I have gotten confused and my memory sucks so I don't want to tell you wrong but it's awesome you got to go check it out until next time I truly hope you're crafting your happiness I'm going to go get my hook on for a little while until next time Bye for now.